Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new farm vlog on the channel. So today we have not recorded for a few days because we've been getting a lot of snow and just not doing much so that's really good to make a whole video but we've kept the fire going. We are running low on wood so we're probably going to buy those tractors that we were looking at a uh, farm vlog ago. But a couple developments. So for one thing Johnny decided to unwrap his truck if you didn't know. His truck was actually had a wrap on it, so this is the pearlish white that it had underneath. We saw it under the door, and the wrap was just kind of wearing out, so we unwrapped that in the shop, and we just heated it up. So this is looking pretty sharp, and then we have the 1500 in the garage here, ready to plow. So we're going to probably plow snow, and then probably going to buy some cows in this episode. So that's exciting stuff going on. We're just going to take a look. A lot of the wind drifted around away from the house, so we're pretty good there. We don't have to get too close, but with the we didn't get too much, so there's a bit of grass around, but the fields are good for riding. So we have the sleds in the shop. But first off, we're going to take the Chevy and the 4955, and I'm going to make some passes. And Johnny's going to do up to things, so do you want to go grab the 49 and I'll grab the Chevy, Johnny? Yeah, do you want to make, like, a big window, and then I can blow it mm -hmm. out of the way? Or we could put some banks to ride on, or I don't know what you're thinking, but... Either or. Okay. Don't matter. I'll just, I'll start on the driveway, or if you want to start around the yard. Uh, yeah. Or unless, or unless I'll your just plow do is most better the, for the How driveway. about you go up by the grain complex, do that, because that's harder to plow. I'll just plow up down the driveway. Okay, sounds good. Make sure you let the truck warm up. Yep, I know. So we're going to warm up the truck here off camera, and we'll see you guys once we get that warmed up and start going. Alright, we've got the truck warmed up here, and we're going to be taking this to start with on the snow. So I gotta get this all figured out with the controls. There's a little thing, a little controller that you just hold in your hand. So I gotta get used to this. I've never really used this truck before with a plow. So it's hard to see how it's doing, but it looks like it's, oh yeah, it's a big pile. Let's see how we did in that pass. Oh, that looks good. Oh, good. That's looking nice. So we're just going to figure this out here. See how that worked. It's hard to see down with this truck where exactly you're going. But I think we got it going good. We seem to be scraping at a good amount level. Oh, that was a little too low. Oops. Yeah, we're doing good here. So we're going to do a quick side pass, and probably going to time lapse a lot of this, because we got to do the whole road. I'm going to have the drone on follow. So we're going to do that, and enjoy this little time lapse of clearing the roads for our farm.
so we blew out the yard, it's looking really nice now and freshened up, but a lot of the yards when a lot of the wind blew around, so didn't have too much of a deepness, it was just kind of drifted around. So I think we're going to take a quick snowmobile ride and then probably go, well Johnny's going to close on a house. So we're, I'm going to help him with that, go to the bank with him, get, help him set up his mortgage and everything. So we're going to fire this up here. That's very good. I have to go out the east door. Johnny's going to have to go out the west door because we have the tractors in the alley. Be careful not to hit those. So we're going to take these for a quick spin around the field. I'm going to put my GoPro on my helmet here. And we're going to go for some snowmobile riding, so we're going to go fly through the fields, so enjoy. We're gonna I'm going to probably have some music with it, just because I can't really talk loud enough for the with the wind noise, so that's that. So I'm going to put my helmet on, and we're going to start riding. with the sled. I did change the oil before we went out, but they're getting a little dirty from the road salt, but we'll clean them off when we get home. Might do a group ride with some of the fans of the ch of the farm vlogs. We might go on a group ride somewhere and meet up with some fans, so that'll be cool to do. Got to plan it still, but oh, we'll see. Maybe that'll be a thing in the future. To and just have a ton of fans come out with their sleds and just go riding. So we'll see. But we're going to grab a quick snack, and we'll see you guys when we're on our way again.
Alright, so we finished riding, and what we're going to be doing is taking the Dodge and the cattle hauler and up, go up to the animal dealer quick to grab some cows that are not too... They haven't grown all their muscle yet for the good meat, so we'll be getting those all taken care of. But what we're going to be doing here is, like I said, hauling the cows, but also Johnny's going to be closing on the a house today, so we'll reveal that once he has bought it. But right now what we're doing is just getting them all squared away with the mortgage and everything. So I'm going to do that at the bank off camera. Alright, so we're getting back from the bank here, and the livestock dealer's right on the path to, on the way back, so we're going to stop here and look at some cows and see what we're looking for. We might do dairy, but we're leaning towards beef, since there'll probably be a little less work. I'm going to have to maneuver backwards a bit, because this trailer's pretty long. i got to try to get down that alley. So we're back in here. I don't want to scrape their building up, that would be... A great first impression. Alright, so... You're good. What do we want? We want... We want ramen, something, right? Meat. Something with meat. What are you thinking? Don't ramen they have, like, a tablet over meat. there that you you can, like, pick? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, sorry. It's gonna probably... T we're gonna have to decide the breed here, and then... How about this? We're gonna do a little jump cut because it's gonna take us a little bit to figure out what we're gonna want, but we'll do that and we'll get back to you guys once we have the trailer loaded. Alright, so we got our cows here. We got the A Shire breed and the Sailor, so both pretty much meat production ones. The A Shire, they said, would produce a tiny bit of milk, but not an overbearing amount. So, one thing we're gonna have to look at is possibly long-term leasing a uh, TMR mixer thing so that we can mix total mix rations which will help give them a better diet and just help them grow a lot faster so we're gonna run up to the farm here and we'll have these unloaded and we'll are you there on the CB yeah I hear you do you want me to pick up a mixer to go talk to him about a lease yeah Since we're here they s now, when I talked to him a couple weeks ago about it, I asked him what the options were, and he said there was that Anderson was one of the better sellers, and they were just better in general, but they also had the Silo King brand. I'll go take a look, and I'll uh, I'll call you. I'll text. I'll 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 call you when I have something picked up. Picked up. Okay. I'll tell you what. You think. Actually, I'm gonna probably run up there, and maybe. I might grab a tanker quick, see if we can find a slightly used one. I think he said he might have had one, but I don't remember for well, sure. Well, we have a tanker. Oh, we wait, yeah, tanker. we do. We do. Yeah, in the back, like, kind of scrap area. Yeah. Yeah, we back there. We have that there. mini tanker. We don't have a solid mineral hauler. Well, no, we just have that little... Yeah, we have yeah. the slurry spreader in that tanker, yeah. Yep. Okay. Then we don't need to worry about that. I completely spaced that out. Okay, so I'm at the farm, and I'll unload these quick and get back to you, Johnny. Okay. Alright, so, Johnny's back from the dealer. He, we did go for the Anderson smaller model that they have. They did have one in stock, so that'll be good. But right now what we're doing is we're going to give... We don't have our silage quite fermented yet. I checked on it, but it's not quite ready to be where we want it. So we're just going to give them hay, because they at least they won't die then, and we do have to give them some water once we get the tank out. So I'm going to probably grab these front bales so they not too much. Probably gonna just do one bale to start with. Because we don't have that many cows, so it's not gonna be a big problem. They just need to be taken care of and fed. We'll probably just... I know it's not a bad thing if you just use the, this, because it munches it up enough where, like, we wouldn't need to straw chop it. 
this so we do have the other 14 on that at the moment but we are going to probably buy the 7700 that is at the Ethan dealer trade in the 4020 and a little bit of money it's not too expensive but it's like a $500 track day I think so it's it's not going to cost us too too much extra with the 4020 as a or like a trade but yeah, that's the plan, I think, because we really need a mixer tractor now that we're really going on cows. So, there we go. Got him. So, we're going to quickly grab a straw bale, I think, and then rip that open in the little bedding area. So, we're going to do that, and John, you there on the walk and talk. Go ahead. Uh, you can put that in the trough while open the door for you. Okay. I can grab a straw bale that we can just break open on the floor for them. We are, we're definitely going to need that 7700. When, when I turn the mixer on, this thing doesn't have enough power to even move. Yeah. Look at Oh, yeah. It solves it right out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to need the 7700. Problem is, the 49... The 8400 is just too big for the job. And the 49, we have other jobs that that has to do. The 14's obviously going to have enough power. So the cows, they're just munching on whatever grass is poking up through the snow. But we're going to give them some actually good food. And so, Johnny. But we're going to go pull through the other side of the bale and break it open on the floor quick. So I'll do that quick. Alright, so we worked on the bales a bit off camera trying to figure out everything and we decided just to buy a cup, like a demo unit that was used uh, bale shredder for the front loader of the 14. So we're just going to use that to help save us from trying to have to spread it around. But we are going to grab the tanker from back here quick for the, and then we're going to have to fill it up by the house because we don't have a heated water pipe ran out to the cow barn so we're gonna have to probably do that if we get serious into cows so probably next year we would do it let's see how close we are back, back about two feet so yeah things are coming along we bought the mixer thing and then we bought the uh bale shredder so that's good so not there that should be good so I'm going to fill this up by the house tap, and Johnny's just trying to figure out our new bale shredder. It's kind, of, it's kind of something new we haven't really done before, so we're just trying to learn it. But yeah, things are looking good, so I'm going to fill this quick off camera. It's going to take a little bit with the garden hose, and we'll see how long it takes. Alright, just filled that up. It took about 20 minutes to fill it with the hose, but helps because we don't have a pipe out there so we're just gonna take a loop and then I don't know what the best place to put this is I think if I remember correctly there's a trough on the east side of the barn that we can just fill in we're probably well Johnny's in the way of that gate so we might have to go through the other one yeah I'll have to do that there should be a plug for this to keep it warm I would think yeah, there is. Okay, so it is a heated one. Oh, yep, it's filling. Shut it off. It's full. It's a nice remote valve, which is nice so you can pretty much stay in the truck. I think that's about it. Hey, Johnny, you there on the walkie? Go ahead. Uh, did you leave this gate open? No, I shut the gate on the west side. Okay. Here then, did you give them uh, some straw? Yeah, they got straw. There's still some leftover straw in the bucket, though, so we'll leave that in there. I'm going to get a grass bale for the cows. Okay. Okay, so we on the trailer there. So Johnny's up at his buddy's grabbing some hay bale, the grass bales, I think. So he'll probably be doing that. I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll probably just decide off camera here for a little bit what I'm going to do. Probably try to work on the cows some more, but 
it's all a learning process because we've never really worked with these before but we'll figure it out we got bedding for them we got some hay for now we'd like to get some tr but we're kind of waiting on our silage pit to ferment for the win over winter so that's gonna be kind of on hold but we got most of the stuff they need so that's gonna be on hold right now what i'm gonna probably do is go work up in the house shop and just work on see what i can find work on probably pressure wash the truck off but we'll see so i'm gonna do that off camera for a little bit and see where we're at all right so things are kind of wrapping up for the day on the farm not much has happened since it was more of a winter's day where we didn't have much to do we gave up the cows pretty much everything that the animal dealer recommended we feed them total mix rations hay and we gave them some bedding so hopefully we'll get some manure out of this and we'll be able to spread it on our fields and increase our productivity without having to use artificial fertilizers we bought our new bucket shredder by Warzy and we also have the Anderson uh, mixer so that'll be nice so yeah the cows are coming along we probably will buy another truckload or so maybe to get up to 16 hopefully we're just gonna see how it goes but yeah it's been a nice farm vlog so thanks for watching everybody if you like this kind of content be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions compliments or anything like that be sure to let me know down below in the comments and yeah guys until the next farm vlog i'll see you all later Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.